All right, people. Welcome back. Find me why. It's Monday. We're using our Trini Bell. So, still trying to send the freaking mat to Tiago for winning the deck making competition. It's just, you know what season it is. Family season? Yes. Well, yes, yes, it's family season, but no. No, it's Christmas around the holidays, so mail is like freaking, like trying to put fucking. Just. Just, it's just bad, alright? I'm trying to send packages through the mail and it, it's just clogging up and it's, it's just not working. It's just, it's just not. It's just not, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, you can call a train, you special on but you can't attack, you can special someone on one another. This card's special, this one you can talk about and destroy it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I can do that. So, I'm gonna summon you. Special summon you. You die. You get my effect. I will go ahead and, uh,. Give me another one, because then I can tribute him and summon himself. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah, his last effect, you know? When this card is tribute summon, you can target on level 6 and special summon it in face of the position, which pretty much allows me to uh, go into some nice 6s, sixes, rank 6s, sixes, yeah. I think I changed one thing, and that's in the thing from the last video, is the extra deck. Um, oh, scale is trash, alright. Uh, uh, sure. Is that um I put in Fortune Tune. I've never been a big fan of Fortune Tune, but uh But the thing with Fortune Tune is, is that uh it works better with um Harris or Harris or whatever the fuck its name is, much better than uh Zen Mains. Cause with Zen Mains, you know, they like one oh one me or Castell me or whatever. Uh uh pretty much. Uh you know, well, I won't get my effect because I have to be just I have to be sent by a card effect. Mm-hmm. Target. Uh, who was who that? Glimmer verse. I'll turn. So you will be sent to the graveyard by the card effect of Glimmer verse. I'll get my effect again. Uh, who do I want? I want big guy. Yeah, I'll take big guy. Yeah, Emperor. Ugh. Sitting in my big boy chair. Look at that. <laughs> Hello? What the fuck is this supposed to mean? No. So, Fortune Tune, you know, I can't be targeted. I gotta be, you know, destroyed by battle. So, you're trying to destroy me by battle. I'm just gonna detach and then I get my effect. But if you don't attack me and I don't detach, then I'll just keep getting life points. So, that's the idea, people. Uh. That's annoying, but yeah, that's fine. I said I don't like skillish trash deck. Skillish trash dot deck. It's the new shit. All right, you can normally summon this card without champion, but its original attack becomes half. If summoned this way, it's destroyed during the end phase. All right. Uh, you cannot special summon any monsters. The Profeen type monsters once per turn. You can banish one archery card from your hand or graveyard, then target one card on the field and destroy that target. Alright. Oh, definitely I'm an Arota. See, I don't like the idea of him spinning back my commander, because I wanted to keep my commander, but alright. Like I said, he got lucky. Like, he, he wouldn't be able to do that play if he didn't mill the wolf. So, therefore, he got lucky in being able to do that play because he got lucky with milling the wolf. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yes. Mm. So I could summon this this big guy and fuck that guy's life up. What's this also do? Each time a card is sent to the to your, from your deck, you okay, plus one shot. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't give two shits about that. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do because there's so many plays, but I don't know what to do. I think I want to go discard, special summon, normal summon, I'm going to get a night, drop you bell, then exceed, like, I don't know, 101? I have 101? Yeah, I do. No, King of Feral Limbs, hello? And just run over the cast out. He's genius. Genius. Normal summon. I get my effect on. Send you bell, of course. Because I need to get you bell in the graveyard. And instead of making, like, 101 and taking him, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to make King of Feral Limbs and fucking get my fucking search on. Where are you? There you are. Yeah. 
my XE plays aren't luck based like that. Like, oh, I happen in the middle of the wall, so therefore I'm gonna happen to be able to XE summon into something to take out 25 meter this time. But if I didn't, then I wouldn't. You know, I don't know. I don't like light swarms. I don't. You know. You know, there's just some decks in Yu-Gi-Oh where you suck on the nips of your boss monster so damn hard that you just suck the fucking nipples dry. It's like, damn, like... It's like, alright, like... Alright, well, he's probably gonna be sending Felice. And Felice is gonna summon back, and he's either gonna use Felice to pop me, or he's gonna make a fucking, uh, Black Rose. <sighs> Math petition is dumb. So you're gonna use your effect? Mm-hmm. See, that's so stupid. Mathematician's stupid. Like, he shouldn't be at 30. Like, you know, Burning Abyss, fucking, uh, Shadal's fucking, uh, fucking, uh, one-card Black Rose. Like, it's so stupid. Like, Mathematician is, like, one of the dumbest cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Like, Foolish is at one, and you got this fucker running around, like, at three and shit. Uh, I might, I don't want him to do anything to me, but I need to save my life points. I need to, because he's going to JD white me, so I need to save my life points. So next turn, oh wow, I pitched the wrong card. I wanted to pitch, I wanted to pitch Commander Night Emperor, oops. Cause I would like Emperor in my hand, because Emperor could have popped me. That sucks, so I need to figure this situation out. You can only speak. Yep. You can charge him, you can blah, 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 blah. Oh. Yep, I'll just go to her guide. Effect. To her guide, summon this bitch. Thank you, to her guide, you saved my ass, because I was about to try to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do in this situation. Gonna go ahead and XC right into Zen mains. I don't know why I put you in. Oh, because I need to. I want to attack. That's it. So you get your effect, I get my effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and search me for Cavalier. Yeah, Cavalier. Because that was the task to protect me from being destroyed. So that's the reason why I got the effect, but. Just no fortune tune. Fortune tune, you should probably run him. Right. Is it part of my component controls? So we'll target one card and feel destroyed. Oh. Gun effect. Bell effect. Terror effect. Go ahead. The Zen would destroy you, Bell. You Bell would summon Terra. Terra would destroy Zen again, but, you know. I only get my effect only once per turn, so I can't even destroy a Thrilled spell. How many Lightstorms does he have? One, two, three. Oh, he has enough for JD. If it's JD time, it's JD time. Nope. Right in time. Uh huh. Why do you keep milling to the fucking banish zone? Mm -hmm. How many times are you going to get lucky in Mill Wolf? I guess you're milling your JDs too, so I guess I can't say anything about that, huh? So I guess you're going to make another Castell with the, mil the, the Wolf that you just happened to mill with luck? To handle my terror? That's what you want to do. You know, you don't exceed force that much. Oh, him. Okay. Oh, he's a sink eight. Scrap dragon, cool. Mm hmm. Targets? Sure. Fact.
You know, attack my Zen mains? Sure, I'll take it. Oop, oop, why'd you go to defense? Mmm. Your muscles on your field right now are looking extra delish. <laughs> uh. What do I want to do? Well, of course I'm going to go to attack mode because I'm definitely going to eat some fucking scrap dragon. He's going to be so delish. What do you do if this card on the field was destroyed by card fence? I could target one archery monster in your graveyard except for I'm supposed to summon, but it can it cannot attack this turn. Oh, okay. Well, I can summon Calvier, then summon Commander, pop it, bring back uh, Emperor, and then I can pop his uh, his Diablos too. I'm just worried about him dropping JD on my ass. Like that's what I'm worried about right now. You know what? You know what? Do I have one in here? No, I don't. He spun it. Mm. I'm gonna take the deal slow. Ultimate Nightmare, go ahead and eat Scrap Dragon. He takes 28. Go ahead. So he's a JD time. That's beckoning, and that's probably going to be game. Act. Go ahead and get me... I wish I could get Falling Down. That would be awesome. Not getting any Falling Downs right now. Wait. How do... You can't turn to defense. Really? You can't attack and then turn to defense. Hello? You can't change your battle position in main phase 2 after you declare an attack in battle phase. It's dumb. And it wouldn't even save you anyway because Ultimate Nightmare still eats you. Put that back in attack. That's fucking cheating. Where? What does it say that? Once per turn you can banish one. Where? Where does it say that? Where does it say that? Where does it? It doesn't say anywhere on that that he could change his battle position. It doesn't say anywhere on that. If you declare an attack, you can't change the defense. No. If you. Oh my god, declare, oh my god, declare and attack, you cannot change your, oh my god, your battle position in main phase two. Oh my god, are you shitting me, are you shitting me, no you cannot, <laughs> fuck you got a game mechanic that you're playing here, the game, the, the game mechanics, the game mechanics, Oh my god. Of Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I, I know I know you're bad because you're playing Light Swords, but you don't need to be this bad. Oh my god. Really. Really. I can't stand fucking DN. Like, please, no. Whatever. Don't even feel like arguing with you right now. You're so fucking stupid. It's not even funny. I know it's a beckoning, so he's probably gonna get back his JDs and some of them will wipe me because his fucking skill is trash light sword. So he's probably got this duel unless I can figure out a way to end it right now, which I don't think I can, so. I uh, did not mean to set that, but I can still activate it. 
Oh, I'm not getting any of my falling downs. They're all just sitting there like, hey, hey, we're falling down. Would you like us? Like, yeah. Would love to have you guys right now. Alright. Normal Summon Cavalry. I'm going to Special Summon Commander. Destroy Cavalry. Effect. And Special Summon Emperor. Uh, Emperor Effect. I'm going to banish uh, this bitch. It says destroy a card, target a card on film. Let me try this one because I know it's Raikou. Yep. Knew it was Raikou. Is that enough damage? No, it's not. I'm short. Well, I wish I had something to discard a special summon, but I don't. So, yep, I'm short. I'm short by only a little bit. You still take 28. It's always the attack. I don't even care if you turn your defense. It's always the attack. Is it 28? Yeah. Was that beckoning? Fucking skill of shots. If this was beckoning, you would have had it. You're just beckoning. Take two. Get them. Take take your two cards in your hand. Was it for every light monster sent? Or just card in your Discard your entire hand for, and for each card you discard to the graveyard. By this effect, add one light monster. So, if that was beckoning face down, you have this duel. Because all you have to do is go beckoning. Take those two cards in your hand. Put them back. Put them to the graveyard. Get the two JGs. Put some JD. Wipe the field. Summon the other JD. Tack tack game. Because it's skill is trash. Like, done. I'm done. Oh, I really wish I would have got falling down. That would have been nice. Because, God, where was my falling down? <laughs> That card's really good, but I never got it the entire duel, but I'm done. I'm done. Like, come on, yeah. Just attack. Mephit 2. Defense. Like, like, if you could do that, then there would be no fucking reason why Dante's effect that turns him into defense position would even be a thing. That'd be pointless. That'd be, that'd be pointless. Because then you could just do it anyway. You can go, Dante, attack. Main phase 2. Defense. Like, no, 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 no. If you declare an attack, you cannot change your battle position. And you also cannot change your battle position to turn it your special summon. Alright? So, for example, if he was already on the field, if he was already on the field, he already special summoned it, this is a turn later, and in, main, in his main phase one, I went, Book of Moon, and he said it. He could flip it back up. That'd be fine. You know? But if he goes, Alright, battle phase, I declare an attack, and I go, Book of Moon, and he, and he gets set, he cannot flip it back up in main phase two because he declared an attack. Like, oh my god. <sighs> Shit, I don't know. That guy needs to do more than read a rule book. He needs to fucking eat a rule book. Maybe so he, he can digest it and get the nutrients of Yu-Gi-Oh! inside of him. That's a good majority of people on DM, though. Alright. So, I think he quit because he saw that I could do enough damage because he saw Emperor at 3,000. So, he thought, oh, that's game. But Emperor couldn't attack. So, yeah. That's why he probably quit because he didn't read my cards. But he didn't pay attention in the duel because he doesn't know how to play anyway. So, alright. I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. <sighs> If you can hear that, that's my fucking neighbors. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. Worst they blast music, fucking just super loud. And now they're fucking doing construction. Like literally, they bought the house. And they think they could do whatever the fuck they want because they bought the house. Whether that be making noise and disturbing all the other neighbors in the area. They don't give a shit because they're like, we bought the house. Like, oh, so... So, because you bought something, that means you can do whatever the hell you want with it without any consequences at all? Alright, well, since I bought my car, I think I'm gonna go on a fucking driving massacre and run over people and kill people and pillage and there's nothing you can do to me because I bought my car. Like, doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh, I went, I went to the fucking gun shop and I bought this gun. So, since I bought this gun and I own this gun, I can do whatever the hell I want with it. So, I'm gonna shoot everybody that I see down the street in the fucking head and kill them because I own this gun. Like, there's no fucking logic with that. But they're fucking... Yeah. Like, literally. It is like... From fucking 11 o'clock at night to 11 o'clock in the morning, they are fucking just making noise. Like, I can't stand them. I can't stand them. This is... And you guys know, this isn't the first time. Same neighbors. Same neighbors. That fucking vitamin, I don't know what episode it was. Is that vitamin Y? Where I was talking about my neighbors being the bitch and I was going off about that? Same fucking neighbors. Same fucking neighbors. I swear to God. And they're white. They're white. You would think. You would think. But no, they're white. Fucking craziness. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. 
Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Ami Wine. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Plague Glitchy Bell. Alright, thanks for watching.